So Jaquaski Tart just signed a one-year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles, and it doesn't seem like the 49ers could care any less. That kills me. I mean, Jaquaski Tart has been on this team a very long time. He's one of their longest tenured players. They said so many ni nice things about him, and then all of a sudden this offseason, it's like you're dead to us. It's so funny. I mean, I I'm curious to see the terms of the contract. I'm guessing he didn't get very much money. He didn't get very much money last year. Um, he's a solid safety, but the 49ers, like, can't see his face anymore. And I wonder why. I mean, really, he should be remembered for having a long, solid, above-average tenure in the NFL with the 49ers, but he didn't make a lot of big plays. He was usually in the right place at the right time. He usually didn't give up big plays. He was solid, but he didn't have, like, what's the best Jaquaski Tart play you can think of off the top of your head? He made that one interception uh, week one, week 17, one-handed in the game. They lost by a lot. I mean, there weren't a lot of, like, big-time Jaquaski Tart plays. There's not going to be a great Jaquaski Tart highlight reel. In fact, the most memorable moment Jaquaski Tart ever had with the 49ers was dropping that gimme interception in the NFC Championship game just a few months ago against the Rams. And I have a feeling that, right or wrong, the Niners just can't see his face anymore. They don't want to look at him. When they look at him, they see failure. They see a guy who dropped a gimme interception and uh, affected their chances to go to the Super Bowl. I think that's a big reason he's not coming back. I think that's a reason, big reason they don't care that he signed with the Eagles. I do think it's interesting that the Eagles are signing vets and the Niners aren't. Anyway, Jaquaski Tart, good luck in Philadelphia. Talanoa, Fungan, the job is yours.